Hello everyone, welcome to Auto All About. So today we are in the Tesla showroom, Dubai. And today we are having the all new 2020 Tesla Model X 100D. We will have a full review of the car including the exterior, interior, technology and performance data. So let's begin. On the front of this, as we can see, there is a beautiful LED data running lamp along with full LED headlamps. And at the bottom we have full LED fog lamps here along with some parking sensors. So the car is having around 12 ultrasonic sensors all around for the automated driving and different driver assistance systems. As you can see on the center we have multiple sensors and cameras over here. And there are cameras on the sides here. Also in the B pillar also we are having cameras. And another speciality of the Model X is this front windshield which is extending all the way on top of the front seats which we can only see in the Model X in the whole world. Now moving on to the sides of the Model X, the major attraction of the Model X is always the Falcon wing doors. Now talking about the doors, the wing doors, it is having some sensors mounted on top of it which will sense any obstacles on top and adjust the opening height accordingly. Now regarding the doors, if you have the key fob in the pocket, just press this uh, door handle to open the door. The door will automatically pop out for us. Uh, the rear front, both doors will be working in the same manner only. Currently, I am not having the key with me, so I cannot uh, demonstrate that one. Now, talking about the wheels, we are having 20 inch wheels here with two 75 series tires at the back and two 55 series tires up front. Now, talking about the rear side of the Model X, we are having full LED tail lamps here, and on top, we are having an automatic rear wing, and at the bottom, we are having a rear view camera. Also, the 100D logo is printed over here and on the side, close to the lights, we have the charging ports as well. Let's have a look at the interior now. So, it's a frameless window here and we are getting completely soft touch materials except the grab handle here and we are having the fully automatic four doors with the mirror controls and mirror folding function here and the lock button for the window scrolls we are having a nice amount of storage areas here with the speakers talking about the seats here we are getting white leather sporty seats they are very comfortable and the front seats are 12 way power adjustable so moving on to the interior We are having the digital instrument cluster here. As you can see, it is a configurable cluster. I will show you here. On the left side, we have a scroll bar, and the right side also we are having a scroll bar. If you press and hold the left side scroll bar, it will show you different functions which we can show up in that left side of the instrument cluster. Just press the scroll button, it will appear there. Similarly, on the right side also, press and hold, we can show different functions there like that now on the right side we are having the media by default next and previous track button and the volume control buttons here as you can see the volume increasing there left side the scroll button by default it will be controlling whatever function is set by this menu button for example press this button to show you temperature fan speed or any other display brightness or anything so just press on that one and it will be controlling that one as you can see here the display brightness is getting increased and decreased so that is how it works now on the left side of the steering column we have in the cruise control controls here and the headlights and uh, wiper controls are located here and the gear lever is over here
Moving on to the center console, we are having the 17 inch TFT touchscreen here. It's been divided into multiple tabs at the bottom. So, for example, at the bottom left, we are having this car button. We press it, it will get you some information displays and control buttons. On top, we are having the quick controls. It will control the lights and the doors and the trunk opening, closing and the brightness. Moving down, we have the suspension button and the lights can it is a laboratory lights controls for the dome lights etc so suppose we on the dome lights it will switch on the dome lights here and ambient lights also we can turn it on and off and same like automatic high beam and after exit if you want to keep the headlights on that also can be controlled from here next is the driving mode selection steering mode and regenerative braking and acceleration modes can be selected from here the next we have the autopilot control modes then we are having the vehicle control boards such as the door controls mainly then we have the display control boards we can set the units the time format and the brightness controls here then we have the trip controls here we can reset the trip from here and the trip info will be displayed here then we have the navigation control buttons over here then we have the service if you have a tow mode like we want to take the car in a tow mode just activate it the vehicle will automatically go to the tow mode then we are having the software update area even the owner's manual is located in here as you can see we can browse through different categories of the owner's manual from the screen itself moving below we have the music controls here if we press the music and we can elaborate it now we have the options for tuning internet radio phone or normal FM radio and settings are here for the this is options for the surround sound setting and balance then we have the tone settings for the equalizer then we are having another up arrow which will bring these much icons again we press it it will show you various info regarding the charging or calendar that will be coming along with the phone once the phone is connected then we have the energy button which will show you a graph of the energy consumption details then we have the browser itself we can enter any website here and it will bring up directly on the screen then we have is the camera display option here it will show the camera directly at any time then we have the call button again the phone should be connected to activate the function then we are having the toy box it is just some gimmicks items like we can make some uh, fun with the passengers for example the fart function is there we can keep the farting in anywhere inside the car and it will bring up the fart noise once we released it like that then we have the toy box again we have some other games and stuff like that even we can open a fire in the complete full screen it will be displaying a fire if you open this option like that then again what we have is arcade here we can get some games from tesla and currently we cannot play it since the car is locked and i don't have the key if you open any game it can be controlled suppose the beach buggy rising to open the game we can control the game with the st actual steering wheel of the car and the actual brake and accelerator of the car itself it's really nice fashion. all these games are controlled in the same way only exit then we have the climate control here directly we can uh, use these arrow buttons to adjust the temperature or just press the fan button to go to the main air conditioning control page where we can set the different modes of the air conditioning as well as the heated seats and heated steering wheels suppose if you want to turn on the heated seat for the passenger just press it it will show you the different levels and it will turn off automatically similarly on the other side we have the temperature for the passenger the heated seats for the passenger it's a shortcut button actually then we have the defrost buttons and the volume buttons here now moving below we have a storage tray here and below that we have two covered cup holders then if we press here it's opening another storage area which contains two usb 
USB ports along with a 12 volt power outlet. In the center console, you don't have a storage area here. Instead, you just slide it, it's cup holder. That's it. The seats are really awesome, really well boasted seats, which are nice and sporty. Now on the dashboard we have only two physical controls, one is for the hazard lights, one is for opening the glove box. It's a fairly decent sized glove box here. Now on top we can see the full glass going all the way up to the top of the driver's seat. And we have only one control cable running from here up to the sensors here. On top what we are having is a frameless kind of rear view mirror and the special sun visors which are located over to the sides since you don't have a, a ending of the glass in front of us so to release it it is controlled by a magnetic kind of uh, spring just pull it it will release and we can bring it towards the center mirror and it will attach to the mirror by magnets and then we can pull the sun visors down and it is having a vanity mirror as well so once it is used again pull it back and we can move it towards the side and it will again attached to the magnet similarly we have on both sides for the driver and passenger now the car comes standard with soft closing doors as you can see now for the rear window rear door it's a falcon wing door here and as we can see these are the five seater configuration currently for this car and this is the three is for the rear passenger let's see how much is the leg room i'm six feet and this is the leg room available for me and on the left side we have the controls to close the uh, falcon doors as you can see they are open currently and we have an ac vent here also in the center we have ac vents two usbs and if we open this we have two more cup holders So we don't have any retractable armrest or cup holder in the center seat. So that is located over here. And there is no bumps or anything. It's a completely flat bottom uh, for the Model X here. And we have the dome lights located here. This is the view of the front. To fold the rear seat, we can just pull the lever just fold it like that it's pretty heavy going on we have the trunk opening button over here it's a fairly large trunk since the car has been can be con configured with uh, seven seats this space is currently used as a storage area and also we have another large storage area at the bottom here there are power outlets at the rear with some hooks located here to close the trunk just press the power button now let's have a look at the front trunk as well for that just press the front trunk button in the display it will pop open the front trunk for us now just lift the trunk and this is the available storage in the front it's a very large amount of storage overall for this car and now to close it just push the trunk press it that's it it's locked so here what we are looking at is the chase for the car as you can see at the bottom here we have the battery packs and behind we are having the motors for the rear wheels and up front we have another motor which is connected to the front wheels and the steering mechanism everything as we can see coming from the steering column directly connecting to the road here so that is the chase for the model x so friends that was my review of the all new 2020 tesla model x 100t please like share and subscribe to the channel if you like the videos we'll be back with a new video soon till then bye bye